Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star, and this is going to be part three of the three-part mini-series I did on photos for eBay. A lot of the information I gave you in the first two videos concerning um, what to do when other people use your photos and whether or not you can use stock photos um, can apply to other platforms as well. As far as intellectual property and using other people's photos, that kind of applies across the board. Um, if you didn't see the first two videos in the series, I'll have them pop up for you up here at the end, and you can watch them. We talked about uh, if eBay can use your photos, what to do if other users use your photos or other sellers use them, and if you can or cannot use stock photos. And today we're going to talk about can you use watermarks? There seems to be a lot of conflicting information out there, and some of it comes from eBay itself. So back in the day, you could have watermarks on your photo, and that was to protect your intellectual property. So if you didn't want people coming in and ripping off your photos, you could put a little watermark on there of your logo. Like I could have a hippo, and it could say Flippin' Hippos or the Hippo Hut, which is our eBay store name. And um, that would protect you. You guys have all seen watermarks on photographs when you look up stuff on Google. They're there for a reason. Uh, then eBay decided that you couldn't use them. Then they went back on that and said you could. And I'm going to share all this with you in a screenshot in just a second. But if you look up the current policies, it still says they're not allowed, even though they went back on taking them off. Or... Yes, here, let me show you what I mean. So, uh, screen will share, there we go. So, um, this is from 2017, November, right? So, in September of 2017, in the fall seller release, eBay announced that listings with watermarked images would be removed from eBay search results beginning on March 1st, 2018. So, in that fall seller update, we were all told if we were using watermark images on our photos to show ownership or just to advertise our store or whatever, if they were still there as of March 1st, our listings were literally going to be removed from the searches. So we were going to be um, worse than throttled worse than push down just like straight up your stuff wasn't going to show up on searches um so that was released in september as part of the fall seller release right but here in november of that same year so two months later they're saying we know that buyers want to see products clearly before they make a purchase and watermarks create a cluttered experience not consistent with retail standard Watermarked images are also a primary reason Google rejects eBay-funded Google shopping placements, meaning less visibility for your listings and decreased conversion. As a result, we do encourage you to remove watermarks from listings in order to enhance your reach and velocity on eBay. However, however, we have received significant feedback about our upcoming enforcement and for this and other business reasons have decided that we will not enforce the removal of watermarks as of March 2018. We will not enforce the removal as originally planned. We know this is a crucial time of year and they just want everyone to be focused on selling. That was Q4 of 2017. Thank you to those who have already removed watermarks. It has been a significant effort. Because of those efforts, um, you know, you'll be more likely to be included in the Google shopping search. They've always wanted you to use plain white backgrounds and not have watermarks because those are uh, more likely to be picked up by the Google bots that crawl and pull you over for Google searches. Absolutely, yes. Um, so this was in 2017. So they took it back. First, they said, take all your watermarks off. You are not going to be shown in searches. And then here in this very letter, they're saying that while removing them can help you with your reach and velocity, um, that they are not enforcing it, right? But if you look up their current policy 
in 2021, you know, three and a half years later, wow, the following are not allowed. Now, I'm under the picture policy. This is a, a policy that we, I went over with yesterday's video, but I'll link it down below again for you guys. You can read through it. But I'm under their picture policy, and the following are not allowed. Watermarks of any type, including those used for ownership attributions. So it's conflicting because their actual policy as of today, 2021, I just looked this up. In 2021, they're saying watermarks aren't allowed. But three and a half years ago, they said they would be, and they were not going to be enforcing that. So my advice would be not to have any watermarks. I don't like it when there's conflicting information myself personally. I don't like it when there's like gray areas. When that happens, I will typically just error on the side of caution. And if the current policy says that watermarks aren't allowed, what was said three and a half years ago doesn't hold as much weight with me. If there's any question that something I'm doing could get us in trouble, um, you guys remember what I read to you yesterday about what can happen to you if you aren't following their policies, right? Let me show you that real quick. One more time. Administratively ending, canceling listings, hiding, demoting listings from searches, lowering seller ratings, uh, restricting your buying or selling, and account suspension. I'm not willing to risk all of that for a watermark. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I like to err on the side of caution if there's any question. Um, I'm just going to not have watermarks because I would rather not risk it. You can certainly on your own write Facebook, uh, sorry, eBay on Facebook, eBay for business on Facebook and ask them. You can call, but what kind of answers are you going to get? If their own policies are conflicting themselves, um, chances are that in 2017 they were saying they weren't going to enforce it. And since then the policy has updated that watermarks aren't allowed. But we all know that oftentimes you can ask the same question to eBay rep representatives um, five different times. You can make five different phone calls or write them five different times and you can get five different answers. So I would go with what's currently the policy today. So if you look up the picture policy, you know, in May of 2021 and it says no watermarks, I guarantee you that's the current policy. Um, but I believe that's why there's conflicting information I've seen in a lot of Facebook groups where folks are showing that um, letter from 2017 and saying, look, they said they were never going to follow through and enforce that on us. And then people are showing the current policy that's showing up right now that says they're not allowed. And so it does cause a bit of confusion and conflicting information to be out there. Just go by what the policies are. Err on the side of caution. If you're someone who wants to risk losing your account and being suspended and um, losing your top-rated seller status for a watermark, then I guess you can use a watermark. Any more questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below. Again, I will have at the end of this the other two parts of the series pop up for you. And I'll put all the links that I showed you and shared information with you from down below for your convenience. Make sure you're familiar with all of the policies and user agreements on eBay, as we all should be since we're selling on their platform. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified when I put out new content. And don't forget to join our Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Free to join. Link down below. Until next time, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. We appreciate the support of our viewers. You guys are the best. Bye.